The Noah story began 200 years ago when in 1807, President Thomas Jefferson founded the U.S. Coast and Geodetic Survey to provide nautical charts of America's coasts and harbors to a relatively young maritime industry. Its first superintendent, Ferdinand Hassler, was a true visionary who elevated the status of science in both government and society. Within this organization gathered an expert assemblage of surveyors, topographers, and artisans, working together to collect and process the information needed for the first coastline surveys. These men and women worked at charting the nation's waterways, producing topographic maps of our shorelines and laying the foundation for some of the best charted marine highways in the world. The United States Coast Survey was NOAA's earliest ancestor, laying the groundwork for a legacy of products and services that enhance safe and efficient navigation of our nation's waterways. Thomas Jefferson personally maintained an almost unbroken record of weather observations, and in 1776, he began to recruit volunteer weather observers throughout Virginia. On February 9, 1870, President Ulysses S. Grant signed a joint resolution of Congress authorizing the U.S. Signal Service to, quote, take observations at military stations and to warn of storms on the Great Lakes and on the Atlantic and Gulf coasts. The Weather Bureau came into being when Congress transferred these services to the Department of Agriculture. The Weather Bureau published the first weather map, established the first hurricane warning service, and began regular kite observations within its first 30 years of existence. From these firsts, the service would evolve in its scope and capacity, finally developing into the National Weather Service in 1970. Formal efforts to protect fisheries date back to 1871 with the establishment of the nation's first federal conservation agency, the U.S. Commission of Fish and Fisheries. This new agency studied numerous factors that affected fisheries of the United States, including ecology, habitat, and physical oceanography. The agency applied systematic scientific studies towards the management and conservation of marine mammals. This necessary science requires men of dedication and stars. The nation's first weather satellite, Tyros-1, was launched in 1960. While in orbit for 78 days, Tyros-1 generated 23,000 pictures of the Earth, permanently changing the way we view our planet and greatly advancing our understanding of meteorology. With its dedicated workforce and network of international partners, NOAA serves to advance the understanding of our planet and scientifically probe environmental realms from deep within our seas to the surface of the sun. NOAA vessels ply the waters of our coasts as well as the deep sea, studying fisheries of the Atlantic and Pacific and protecting many of the marine fish and mammals that make up our living marine resources. NOAA researchers study the world in which we live. They work to enhance weather forecasts, provide longer warning lead times for natural disasters, and enhance our understanding of climate, oceans, and atmosphere. Research takes place in laboratories across the country, as well as aboard a fleet of ships and planes. A system of satellites keeps constant watch over the nation, providing vital information that can be used for many applications including weather forecasting, ocean science, and climate monitoring.
Today, we celebrate the 200th anniversary of the founding of the Coast and Geodetic Survey, a starting point which led to the establishment of NOAA, an organization that works for the American people each and every day by continuing to follow its essential mission of science, service, and stewardship.